Thank you very much, Meguna, for this nice introduction. Uh, as you've currently mentioned, my name is Ricard. I work at the Stockholm International Water Institute, particularly in the Water and Sanitation Department. And basically, the CIVI is a Swedish organization which seeks to promote and strengthen with the governance in the delivery of wash services. So in the next slide, as you've correctly mentioned, basically the idea of this short uh, introduction is to set the scene. And basically when we talk about service delivery models, what we can find out is that there might be, or there are different definitions and they differ in the scope and the level of ambition. If we, for instance, have a look at one first definition, it highlights the legal and institutional setup. It also focuses on the modalities of provision and it also introduces the need to clearly state the levels of service delivered to end users. In another definition, basically what we can see is that it highlights the linkages between infrastructure and management arrangements. It also speaks to the level of service and basically it lights or it highlights the need to ensure affordability, safety and reliability. Another definition combines the management and the need to introduce the different service levels and it also relates to service levels to the legal policy institutional regulatory framework. So basically in a sense we can see that all definitions cover both the local level and basically they refer not only to the management modalities, but also who is delivering the service, but also it also covers the enabling environment at the national level. So basically when we define a service delivery model, we need to take these two levels into consideration. The second fact that I would like to highlight from these definitions is that we can see that there are several modalities to deliver services. We can have community managed wells, we can have self-supply, we can fly more professionalized, more professionalized uh, modalities. So basically different setups can be implemented and indeed they exist and coexist in the same context. So this strengthens the need to coordinate and collaborate between different service modalities in the same community, making sure that the different levels of service are not a conflict in the communities. So in the next slide, basically the idea is to launch an initial poll just to reinforce this idea of different service modalities in different areas. So if my colleagues can launch the poll, you can all participate and basically address this initial question about do you know who manages your own water supply at your place? It is self-supply, it is community-based management, it is local government provision, it is a public utility, or it is a private sector provision. So if you can answer to this initial poll, I will wait for my colleagues to show the results. So basically, yeah, the, the, the idea is to reflect on what I was just mentioning before. There are different modalities. We've seen, for instance, that two out of 10 people or participants uh, do have self-supply. There is also community-based management. Since a lot of participants here are provided by a public utility, private sector can be also an option. So again, of course, there is no good and, uh, or wrong answer here, but highlighting this initial fact that different modalities exist and they coexist in the same community. In the next slide, we can see another poll. And basically the idea here is to allow for multiple choice. The question that we would like to share with you is, what are the key enablers for effective implementation of a service delivery model? They are institutional arrangements. Do they refer to institutional capacity, strategic planning, financing, coordination, accountability, monitoring, gender and social inclusion, service delivery infrastructure, and water resources uh, 
development. So if we can launch the poll, again, it is a multiple choice. So feel free to select those that you consider relevant in your context. I will wait for some more participants to answer the poll and then my colleagues to share the results of the poll. So Aki, it's important to, to, to see that again, uh, there are different elements of course, some of them are more relevant to specific contexts, some others are more relevant to other contexts. But once again, with no right and wrong answer, the idea that I would like to highlight here is that in order to support and strengthen an effective delivery and implementation of a service delivery modality, we will need to have in place different elements that refer some of those at the local level, and some others at the enabling environment level. We will need, of course, institutional arrangements. We'll need to have clarity of roles and responsibilities of all stakeholders that take a stake in the service delivery. We'll, of course, need also to have a policy framework that supports the local delivery of services. And for instance, we'll need to make sure that this legislation is correctly implemented at the local level, that there is clarity, for instance, on who owns the assets, or if there is clarity on what is the role of community management in the policy. Of course, we will need that once we do have clarity on the roles and responsibilities, all sector stakeholders have the right capacities to deliver. And this is important not only to focus at the national, but mainly at the local level. We also need the strategic planning, and we can see somehow at the national level that uh, good documents can be found when it comes to uh, implement and, 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 and set up the, 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 the goals and the, and the targets for the sector to set out how the sector should expand to those areas that have not service deliveries in place. But it is also important to highlight the role of strategic planning at the local level. For instance, at the service operator level, we need to enforce that, uh, that, all, that all, all, all sectors, the whole service operators do have in place, for instance, business plans. And this is not the case typically in rural areas. Of course, the infrastructure and assets will have a clear trend or a clear linkage to the level of service. If we need, for instance, safe water, we'll probably need to deliver or to implement a water treatment plan, even if it's a basic treatment plan. We also need to have accountability mechanisms in place together with good regulation. Again, good regulation not only, not only relating to finance, but also to environmental standards. And this is not the case in many rural communities. Financing, of course, we will need adequate financing to support sustainable delivery of services, and it typically refers to taxes, transfers, and tariffs. We also need good coordination among local and national stakeholders, but particularly also good collaboration between local stakeholders when we do have different service modalities in place in the same context. We also need to strengthen monitoring of the sector, and this will be highlighted in this today's session. We see that it is difficult to assess performance of specific service delivery modalities, so we'll definitely need to strengthen monitoring. We need to link, of course, the services, the water and sanitation services, with the broader water sector and making sure that water resources and the environment are used in, uh, in the correct way. And finally, it's also good to have in mind the gender and, solo, uh, and social inclusion, meaning that different end users might have different needs in relation to the services, and we need to consider both in the definition of the right modalities. <clears throat> 